Today we'll be talking about spell transfer and I will be walking you through a couple of different spell transfer models within Runway. So first of all, what is spell transfer? Well, often you have a content image, in this case a lion, and a style image, such as Starry Night, as inputs, which then produces this output, which is the content image with the style image applied to it. Here you can see this is the same content image of the lion with different styles applied to it in this column and in this column. Again, there are two inputs to style transfer, the content image and the style image, and the output is the content image with that style applied to it. Within Runway, there are a good amount of different style transfer models. This model right here, Neural Style, is actually a model which Derek has imported into Runway. So with that, let's go over to Runway and take a look. So now we are within Runway. Here we can scroll down to the category, Style Transfer. Here, these are a lot of different models. Um, I've actually uh, created a workspace with all of the Style Transfer models, but um, if you wanted to add these to your workspace, you just click Add to Workspace and it would add it to your workspace. But here I already have um, all of these different Style Transfer models attached. So I have collected all of these different style transfer models within this workspace of titled style transfer. Um, we can first start off with Derek's model which he's imported into Runway, this NeuroStyle-TF for TensorFlow. If we want to view info about this model we just click here. Here we can scroll down see if it was made by Derek. Check out this gallery which includes these beautiful images, which Derek has made, the license, MIT license, and these notes, which Derek has left for using it. Um, here the GitHub repo is linked. This TensorFlow repo is the repo for the actual model, which does the style transfer itself. There is also this runway GitHub repo, which is linked sort of describes how that this TensorFlow model was imported into a format uh, that Runway can use, so that we can use it like here within Runway. And then this link to the paper, which links to the original style transfer paper from 2016 by Leon A. Gattis and Alexander Ecker and Matthias Be Be Becka. But yeah, let us go into the workspace and see what happens. Here I've already input my content image as this picture, which is a piece of artwork I did before. For my style image, I'm using this image, which is an image I had from a next prediction, next frame prediction model I had trained before. But basically I want to take this style and apply it onto this shape. And if I click run remotely, we should see what happens important thing that I forgot to just mention is when you go here and you scroll down and you read Derek's notes is that he notes I recommend experimenting with a small image size less than 400 pixels and a low max iterations count because the time to process is the image size multiplied by the number of iterations and to do that first until you find an image that you like and then once you find an image you like you can scale up and wait longer for what you know will probably be good. So in this case, we need to make sure when we go over here and we set our image size and image width that we follow his recommendations of setting the width to something below 400. Also here as well for our style image, set it to something below 400. And also make sure our max iterations are underneath um, 400 so maybe we set it to 350 and we click run remotely to go It looks like it has finally completed it Took 814 seconds, um, but this is what it produced Now the second style transfer model we'll look at is this neural style model Here we can view info on this particular model so we can have an idea of what it is before we start using it um, it was brought into Runway by this guy. If we scroll down, it says style images and the style of famous paintings. 
a neural algorithm of artistic style um, and a little abstract. We can click on the paper if we want to look more. I believe, yeah, this also links to the first style transfer paper by Leon A. Gathis, Alexander Ecker, and Matthias Becker. This was the first paper that introduced style transfer uh, using deep convolutional neural networks. You can look at the gallery, check out the license, MIT license, um, and add to workspace. So let's go back to our workspace and get going. I have already input the content image and the style image, and here this is the output image with these defaults, and I've clicked run remotely. The one thing I did do was I decreased the resolution of both the content image and the style image to about 800 pixels so that this wouldn't take a really long time to run. Despite this, it did take about two minutes, a little more than two minutes, to output this image. We are at this new model that is called Ada in Style Transfer. We can look. First, the first thing we always do is we view info to look at what this model actually is. Um, it is another style transfer model, but how is it different from all the other style transfer models we've seen so far? We can see the publisher here. Down here, it says stylized images in the style of any image. Ada in adaptive instance normalization. Um, and it includes the abstract of the paper. We can go to the GitHub repo. To learn more. So this is an unofficial PyTorch implementation of this paper. Arbitrary style transfer in real time with adaptive instance normalization from ICCV 2017. This is the links to the original implementation in Torch. And yeah, it seems like here this is the first real-time style transfer algorithm that transfers arbitrary new styles because uh, before people could only train a model for a single style or 32 styles meaning like you would be restricted to a specific set of styles to choose from and you could not input your own style image so apparently this is the first one that did it and also did it in real time going back to this workspace or this model view in Runway, we can also check out this gallery, see how these things have uh, taken this content image with the style image and produced this woman, check out the license, MIT license, and yeah, let us go and get our hands dirty and play with this model. This is what the adaptive instance normalization model has produced. Um, again, I just cranked down the resolution so that it, you know, did inference within a reasonable amount of time. There is this alpha option and also this preserve color option. Preserve color will preserve the content image color. So what that will do is it will try and keep these colors consistent rather than switching to the colors within your style image. It says here alpha controls the degree of stylization. This is just a lever which will control how much this style image stylizes the output image. Um, pretty similar to over here, the stylization factor in the neural style model. And yeah, that is adaptive instance style transfer. Let's move on to the next one. We can first check out what is this model we're working with. Publisher is also this guy, again, fast photo style. So fast photo style is actually for stylizing images into photorealistic images. Photorealistic is key here because it's saying you're changing the style of the reference photo with the constraint that the stylized photo should remain photorealistic. So it should look like a real photo even after the whole stylization process occurs. We can read more in the paper here. Open the, up the PDF in archive. A closed form solution to photorealistic image stylization. If we scroll down within the paper, we come across this nice graphic. It says, given a style photo A, this column, the style photo, and a content photo B, this column, which is the content photo. Um, photorealistic image stylization, uh, blah, blah, blah. 
is in C, D, and E, and their method for this paper is an E. And they're basically saying, like, these results are better than these previous results. Uh, this gap is at L, if you remember, was the original neural style transfer paper from 2016. Um, so here, in this case, we're taking this content image and trying to apply this style to it, if we just look at this bottom column. We want a pyramid that looks like this modern house. And these are the various results. Theirs, as you can see, uh, looks pretty pho photorealistic. And it looks, uh, you know, like it does way better than uh, these previous results. Also, in this case, where we have this content image of this field, and we want it to look wintry with these previous cases, it doesn't, it's got, you know, these kind of funky artifacts. Whereas in their case, it looks, you know, it looks pretty good. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, that's how you kind of look through a paper to get a quick idea. If we also go back to Runway, check out the gallery, it does provide these photos which are from the paper and pretty helpful. You can also check out the license, a Creative Commons license. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and play with this model. This is what it has produced. As you can see, there's the wall looks pretty good. It still has the wall texture. Um, not like these other models where it kind of gets pretty messy, all this stuff. This neural style also, you know, didn't do too hot with the background and making this look realistic as a photo. This looks kind of abstract as compared to this. It looks, you know, fairly plausible as like a real image. We can go first, check out what is this model, Dynamic Style Transfer by this person. And if we scroll down, style images, tune style dynamically without training in real time. They train something that's called a dynamic net, or which they call a dynamic net. Yeah, let's check out the paper and see what this is about. This paper is from 2018. Tuning the objective without retraining for synthesis tasks. Check out the PDF. Dynamic net, it seems like that is the new thing that this paper is proposing, dynamic net, which allows um, researchers to be able to get nice results without needing to retrain the entire network. So that means like at inference time, also known as test time, um, you can tweak some things and get results without needing to retrain your entire network. To be honest, I'm not 100% clear on this uh, just by taking a quick glance through it. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and opened up this GitHub repository to check out more. Often the GitHub repo will provide explanations in a more sort of plain English description and have more photos. So this is the GitHub page. It seems to me that um, you know they're proposing this dynamic net that can be modified at inference time. And they also have listed a couple of applications, one of which is dynamic style transfer, which is what we're using right now in Runway. Um, it also seems that there's a dynamic DC GAN for generating images, uh, in this specific case, some faces. But what it seems is that this dynamic net is a new architecture or method of training a particular model um, that can be used in a variety of applications one of which is style transfer, but it could also be used for generating faces. And it seems to me the application of the dynamic net to style transfer is that you can control the stylization level, um, you can tweak this parameter uh, without needing to retrain the entire network, um, and there might be some other nice things too um, that I'm missing at the moment, but not a biggie. And so let's go check out the model within Runway. We are here, we are back in Runway. Let's go check out Dynamic Style Transfer. One important thing about this style transfer model that is different from all these previous ones that we've checked is that there is no option to input a style image. I was not able to input my style image of uh, this photo here into Dynamic Style Transfer. Dynamic Style Transfer only gives you this particular set of styles which they have pre pre chosen. In this case, I have generated for a waterfall style and it has produced this. 
Um, here, maybe let's check out some other styles. I've started the model down here, and yeah, let's go ahead and check. What I did, just for the sake of this demo, was I reduced this image size to about 500 pixels, so it kind of updates closer to real time. I can play with this alpha parameter, drag it down, slightly changes things. If I want to switch to a different style, I do have to stop this, click stop, and now I can select feathers, for example, um, and we can check out what these feathers look like. Yeah, the fact that you do have to start and stop every time is a little, little annoying um, when you want to switch between different styles. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting, one thing I do want to note is the order in which I presented these to you are in order of least recent to the most recent. So Neural Style came out in 2015 or 2016. Um, these two, Ada N, I believe, came out in 2018. Fast Photo Style as well, 2018, a little bit after that. And yeah, I think this one was the most recent one. Although I actually don't really like this style transfer model that much because you are restricted only to these set number of styles. With the feather style, this was the output. It's kind of pretty. Also, just a correction, this one actually came out in 2017, and then these two came out in 2018. And yeah, that sort of concludes all of our different taste testing of all the different style transfer models that are within Runway. Um, we started with Neural Style, produced this output, this is a model, the very first, based off of the very first style transfer model, which came out in 2015 by Leon Gattis and others. There's also this one, Adaptive Instance Normalization 2017, produced this output. Fast Photo Style. The important thing about Fast Photo Style is that it produces, or attempts to produce, photorealistic results. And this came out in 20, 2018, produced this result. And Dynamic Style Transfer also came out around 2018. Um, does not let you input your own style image. Uses a new, tech, a new network architecture or method of training called Dynamic Net. That's a side point. But you have to select a particular style from this set restricted number of styles that they have provided. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment for Derek and I, or join our Slack and ask us directly in our community Slack. Uh, we're both very, very happy to be guiding you guys along on this machine learning journey.